Are you thinking about buying a home? Make sure you are financially ready. In this video, we will discuss key factors to consider before making one of the biggest decisions in life. Welcome back to Empower and Thrive. Today, we're tackling a topic that's crucial for anyone considering taking that big step, buying a home. Buying a house is one of the largest financial transactions most of us will ever make, so it's essential to approach it with careful consideration from multiple angles. We'll be discussing topics like how much can you afford and when should you buy. Let's dive in and help you figure out when you're truly financially ready to buy a home. It's crucial to remember that real estate professionals involved in the buying process typically work on commission, which can influence their advice. Therefore, their guidance should be taken with a grain of salt. To get an unbiased assessment of what you can realistically afford without jeopardizing your financial health, consider consulting a financial advisor or fiduciary. They can help you take a deep dive into your finances and determine the best time and price range for buying your home. Traditionally, the general thought has been to buy a home worth around, but no more than twice your annual household income. For example, if your total household income is $75,000, you should be looking at houses at or below $150,000. However, in today's market, this is nearly impossible. More recently, the advice has been updated to suggest that you can consider homes priced at three to five times your annual household income. So, with a household income of $150,000, you might look at homes ranging from $450,000 to $750,000. But before you jump into this range, you need to figure out if it's practical for you. While houses may be that expensive, do you realistically think you can afford a $750,000 house on a $150,000 annual income? For most people, that wouldn't be practical. But everyone's situation is different, and it's crucial to evaluate your own financial landscape. When I bought my current house, I looked for the most affordable house that would meet my minimum standards and ended up spending about twice my annual income in 2018. I wanted a house in a certain age range, in a good school district, and within a 15-minute commute to my office. It did take me nearly a year to find my townhouse, but it was worth the wait and careful consideration. This approach allowed me to not only live how and where I wanted, but also remain financially stable and not overextend myself with high mortgage payments, maintenance costs, taxes, etc. Remember, it's not just about the sticker price of the house. You need to consider additional costs like property taxes, maintenance, insurance, and potential homeowners association fees. These expenses can significantly impact your monthly budget. It's crucial to avoid becoming house poor, which means spending so much on your home that you struggle to cover other essential living expenses. Making sure you have a realistic budget that accounts for all these expenses will help you maintain financial stability and enjoy your new home without undue stress. One common mistake many potential home buyers make is trying to time the market perfectly. While it's important to consider interest rates, waiting for the perfect moment can often lead to missed opportunities. As the old saying goes, the best time to buy was yesterday and the worst time to buy is tomorrow. This highlights the importance of acting when you're financially ready rather than endlessly waiting for the market to shift in your favor. Real estate is a long-term investment and market fluctuations are inevitable. Focus on your financial readiness and long-term goals instead of getting caught up in the unpredictable ebbs and flows of the market. Take your time, do your research, and make sure you're financially ready before making this life-changing decision. Your future self will thank you for the careful planning and consideration you put into buying your home. Thanks for tuning in to Empower and Thrive. If you found this video helpful, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content to help you take control of your financial future. See you next time. Until then, keep thriving.